No. We already did that in the past, uh, it's not in our plane. Maltese cross has been applied on so many collections of mushroom gunstone that what does it mean in the context of autology? Maltese cross is uh, in the collection since 1880. It was registered at the, the Compliance uh, Bern offices. It was one of the key components of the caliber on the barrel, which was a component used for the precision of the caliber. It was a technical facets that was used for the shape of this specific component. And we find interesting to keep this as a symbol of the Maison uh, since this creation. And uh, other than autology, could you add some of uh, your personal understanding? Alors for me, it's uh, not only a component, it's also a signature that recognizes uh, at a glance the Maison signature. We've put everywhere the buckle of the straps. We've got also the half part of the Maltese cross on the overseas collection. It's like a very delicate signature across the collection. It's now much more technical, now a contemporary design signature to our collections. Egeri, the police of time appears to be your first concept watch or haute couture. Alors finally, the starting point was uh, the collaboration with uh, Hinjinin, which is uh, the talents we are working uh, with since 2020 with the Egeri collection. She designed haute couture avant-garde dresses. Yeah. And back in 2021, she exhibited at the Dubai uh, World Fair, a very creative dress which was already scented because of the use of nanotechnology with fragrances. And we were looking for how we can indulge into haute couture, haute horlogerie and haute parfumerie with this universe that was unexpected into a strap. And uh, together we started a journey two years ago on how we can encapsulate a fragrance into a broidery, then coming back to the life of a strap and that was the starting point we had a different discussion creative approach we found a very uh, attractive startup in the south of France that follow us in our dreams to make it true and uh, she redesigned completely the dial aesthetics with the lilac mother pearl tones she erased completely the hour markers she reinvented the way of displaying the times for a unique creation not sellable it's a, just a creative exercise that demonstrates that we can indulge also into old couture world uh, in what way can we appreciate the parfum on Egeri? Now, it's something that is invisible and it's not no technology. No, you only have to twist the strap to erase the scent of the perfume. It's nanotechnology. If you don't burst the cell of fragrances, it lasts forever. It's only the fact that you, being, you give traction to the strap that you burst the cell of fragrances. And it smells for 24 hours. And uh, we talk about uh, overseas. Two different expressions. The green dial animation is a, a new tone. The Maison is known for this iconic blue uh, lacquer dial. And we were looking for something different than the green that we have introduced last year into the traditional collection. And here we come with something warmer that is fitting perfectly to the tone of the pink gold material. Very delicate and subtle. Tourbillon, because uh, on the sporty collection, our clientele, we are looking for eye complications. And mastering eye complications, there's two top complications, among which the tourbillon and the perpetual calendar. So we started to have perpetual calendar display uh, a few years ago. Two years ago, we had the skeletonized approach on the tourbillon, and now we come with this tourbillon mixed with uh, innovative material, which is the titanium grade 5. For me, the Patrimony Collection is the best uh, perfection of the balance between vintage and modernity. Vintage because it's really uh, dating from the 50s in terms of pureness, minimalism in aesthetics, dome dial, pebble-shaped case, our markers, that's something that is really pure and vintage style. And the modernity comes from the new color of the old silver dial and the new alligator strap with color that highlights, I would say, the vintage case of the new patrimony we have introduced in 39 millimeter and on the moon phase uh, retrograde date uh, 42.5. It's a really the best combo. 
<laughs> no. We already did that in the past, uh, it's not in our plan. Okay, I yeah. will have a look at that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Because of the irregularity of yeah. the lunar calendar, lunar cycle, if we compare it to our Gregorian calendar, which is starting from the day one, the 1st of January to uh, uh, the last and, day, yeah. the lunar calendar is uh, changing every two to three years based on the duration of the moon. The Chinese New Year is changing every year, so the irregularity gives a lot of uh, mathematics behind in terms of how we can integrate all the precision of the cycles to the complication. For us, it's set up to the year 2200, mm. and the watch, uh, the pocket watch, is delivered with eight different discs to make sure that every end of life cycle of 19 years, mm. we can replace and have a setting okay up to this uh, long time. During these intervals, uh, the user uh. do not need to manually adjust it. Yeah, no. <laughs> What else would you add to this uh, cabinotier? For us, the expression of the human adventure between a collectors, a watch passionate persons uh, based in the United States that already ordered the 5760 piece, the pocket watch with the Hebraic calendar in uh, 2015. And these same collectors push the boundaries and ask the three watchmakers behind this creation to think about this Chinese calendar. It's 11 years of development, one year of assembly, up to 200 components for the entire uh, set of the pocket watch, it's a human adventure because it's where we see that uh, collaborating with our clients for bespoke offer uh, behind Les Cabinotiers push innovation and boundaries in terms of complexity to the highest level. And here is the expression of what we can be create at best in terms of combo of complications. I would say this collector is really audacious. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but you can uh, meet the challenge yeah. of this uh, audacious idea. Yeah. Yes, we can see it's an yes, American well, philanthrope, uh, which is named Miss Berkeley. That's uh, why the timepiece is uh, named the Berkeley. These watch collectors is al also a long history client. He purchased already two timepieces, the 57260 and the Farouk one, which is uh, one of the most prestigious pocket watch in our history. It is really a surprise to us, you know, this collector can uh, this closer some of the information yeah. to the uh, enthusiast of uh, Vacheron Constantin, yeah. which is very encouraging. He it, gave it, us uh, the agreement to speak about yes. his name, about his approach uh, as a watch collector, and as we are a world of passionate person. And he is just to see how we can go further. And uh, yes. this is thanks to him that we have created this eye watch making. Uh, Could you please uh, mm. pass our gratitude to yes. him? Yeah. You know, yeah. To yeah. share with us the mm. passion yeah. mm. and uh, the trust mm. to Vacheron Consulta. Yes. And, and to watch making. <laughs> yeah.